Hey everybody, Shane with 3MG TV, and this week we're going to keep on talking about getting paid. So last week I did a video about three tips on things to think about, where to look, what to charge, and how to get what you think you need when it's time to book your gigs. And uh, one of them that I talked about was scaling. The idea that if you have a five-piece band, can you sell a four-piece act for less money or a two-person band? That way, uh, the places that you're looking to play have some options, and you have a bit more of a catalog that you can uh, deliver to people. And uh, that got me thinking, scaling is good, but what I do is diversification. And that, I think, is really the key in addition to scaling. So it's kind of, a, it's kind of a, an expansion on that. The idea is that as musicians, we have a couple of things, a couple of uh, uh, attributes going for us. We, have, we typically have like a high technical acumen. And we have, like if you're watching these videos, a computer proficiency. So... If we really like to play piano and sing or play guitar in a band, but uh, we have bills to pay, then why is it that we would let go the opportunity to, say, run a karaoke show or be a DJ? How hard would it be to learn beat matching and use a virtual DJ or something like that? Because you may already have all those songs. You know, you might play those on your iPad when you take a break from your band, you see. Uh, you get into this one-stop shop type thing where you're, uh, I think it's horizontal consolidation, isn't it? Where somebody owns all the trucks that take the goods to the place. It'd be hustling backwards as a musician if you tried to go vertically and have the bar and the act you see that wouldn't make a lot of sense but what if you could what if you could deliver enough products enough different acts that you could cover all the places in your town so that anybody that needed entertainment on a night could just call you up or hit you up on Facebook and say hey I want a thing because there's a wedding party and they want jazz music and you said I got a guy or if you are the guy so I mean, at some point, I guess if you just ran this out, eventually you would be a booking agency. But if you're paying your bills with music, you're already on the phone. So now you could be fielding more phone calls, getting other people jobs, and then you might that might allow you a little bit of freedom to do whatever you want with your own projects rather than having to be the wedding cover band if you've already got a wedding cover band that you get a little off the top every time you hire them. So it's something to think about, diversification. Let me know what you think about that. Um, I think that if you're not going to have a real job, diversification is the way to go because eventually, depending on the market size, people are going to get tired of seeing the same thing that you do if you do it often enough. So I think it's good to do different stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. More videos coming soon. And also uh, make some suggestions on video topics for me to cover in the future.